dear student uh, today i'm going to take the uh, dma controller okay so this topic belongs to the uh, computer architecture okay so today i'm going to take the the concept about the dma controller first before going to that what is a dma controller a dma controller is a uh, hardware device uh, it connect the uh, peripheral devices um, uh, can directly access the memory with less participation of the processor okay so it's a act like a interface a, a interface between the cpu and the input output devices okay so um, uh, in a, uh, a dma uses hardware for accessing the memory that hardware is called as a dma controller uh, it has the work of uh, transferring the data between input output device and main memory uh, so what is the main role of the dma controller the dma controller is a kind of hardware device which connect the uh, input output devices with the memory devices uh, memory uh, so the input output devices can uh, directly communicate with the memory with the less uh, interaction with the processor okay so uh, it consists of a um, dma is a um, dma is a control unit which has work transferring data that means it transfer the data between uh, the memory uh, unit and the uh, in peripheral devices okay so the dma control is a type of control unit that work uh, as an interface for the data bus and input output uh, devices okay so the dma controller also contain an address unit which generate the address and select an input out, um, output device for the transfer of data uh, here uh, this is the uh, diagram of the dma controller um, so in a dma controller uh, re, uh, it consists of a read and write operation so uh, the interrupt means it uh, direct the interrupt uh, dma acknowledge uh, then dma request address line and the data line the data line is used for transferring the data between the uh, peripheral device and the memory the address line generate the address uh, uh, which detect the device um, uh, addresses okay so there are four different type of uh, dma single ended dma dual ended dma arbitrated ended dma and interleaved dma so first what is single ended dma so uh, single uh, ended dma means um, uh, so the read and the write both are uh, uh, doing in only one address so that kind of uh, dma is called as a single uh, ended dma but in the case of dual ended dma uh, means um, uh, read and write operations are um, uh, are doing in a different um, a memory address um, uh, that means uh, uh, read is happen in one address and write will uh, will be doing in another one address so uh, that's why this is called as a dual end dma arbitrated end uh, dma uh, is a better than a dual uh, end dma uh, here the reading and writing uses several memory address interleaved dma means uh, um, so read from one memory address and write from another memory addresses so these are the different type of dma okay so the dma con controller consists of three register first address register word count register and control register here the address register uh, specify the address um, uh, in the desired location word count register uh, count the uh, word um, uh, while transferring the data between the input output devices and the uh, memory control register uh, it consists of a transfer mode uh, therefore the cpu can both read and write into the dma register under the program control via the data bus okay um, here the unit communicate with the cpu through data bus and control line um, here there are two different types of mode is uh, access bg equal to bg means bus grant uh, bus grant equal to one, uh, zero and bus grant equal to one bus grant equal to zero means the cpu can communicate with the dma register if uh, bg is equal to one means cpu relinquish Re relinquish means releases the bus dma can directly communicate with the directly uh, communicate with the memory 
then so the, these are the two mode here uh, this is the overall structure here um, first the dma is a, uh, a request uh, the in, uh, to input output device give the dma request uh, here this is a dma acknowledge uh, here the read and write operation so already i told you bus request and bus grant both are uh, accessed here the interrupt uh, the interrupt mean what is the interrupt access register select and dma select okay so the data bus buffer uh, this is the another one okay so now uh, there are three different type of data transfer mode uh, exist in the um, dma controller uh, bust mode cycle stealing mode transparent mode bust mode means um, uh, the bus handed over to the cpu by the dma the whole data is completely transferred not before that uh, here uh, buses are handed over to the cpu uh, by the dma so the dma uh, transfer the uh, buses to the cpu after completing the data transfer cycle stealing mode means buses handed over to the cpu by the dma after the transfer of each byte every time it send the data in the form of bytes um, it give the and uh, buses to the cpu the continuous request for bus control is generated by data transfer mode uh, so um, <coughs> then a transparent mode transfer mode in dma does not require any bus in the transfer of the data as it work uh, when the cpu is executing the trans uh, transaction it, it does not need any kind of buses okay then uh, so these are the three different type of mode then the advantage advantage means um, dma distribute workload very uh, appropriately uh, then the dma help cpu in decreasing its workload uh, so the clock uh, dma require very few clock cycle while transferring the data these are the uh, cpu is not involved while transferring the data these are the advantage of the um, dma controller disadvantage means uh, its cost is very high um, catch coherence problem problem is occurred uh, then the dma uh, controller increases the complexity of the software okay uh, dear student now i take the dma controller uh, concept suppose if you have any kind of doubt cle uh, clearly give the comment section i will clear your doubt thank you student